Hello traders, welcome to the Ninja Trader tutorial and the first module introduction to Ninja Trader. Uh, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you all about the hotkey manager and uh, we're going to learn how to assign and how to remove hotkeys to uh, any active window. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to jump right into the control center of the Ninja Trader and I'm going to show you where the uh, hotkey manager is located. You have to go to tools and you have to go to hotkey manager. Uh, this is the hotkey manager as you can see we have uh, on the left side of the hotkey manager the active windows and on the right side of the hotkey manager uh, all the available actions that uh, you can um, choose from. So let's start by uh, uh, setting, uh, learning how to set up a new hotkey. Uh, let's say that we want a new hotkey for a uh, when we want a new chart. What we're going to do is we're going to go to global. We're going to choose new chart, and then we are going to choose uh, this uh, drop-down menu. We are going to choose the modifiers and the key. I always choose Alt because it's the least, uh, or it's the modifier that I least use when I type. And uh, because it's a new chart, let's use the um, the letter C. Okay. Now we click OK, and uh, we click OK right here, and uh, you will always get this uh, hotkey warning. All hotkeys are inactive when a model form has focus. Um, uh, and uh, this uh, warning is telling you that if you have, uh, let's say, a chart that uh, is always on top, because you can you can uh, choose to have a chart that is always on top, the hotkeys are going to be inactive. But because we don't have that, the hotkeys are active now. So uh, because the hotkeys are active, we are going to use the Alt C hotkey to see if it works uh, on a new chart prompt. Alt and C. And as you can see, uh, the data series window has opened for me to choose any futures contract that I want. And uh, let's say that we want the 6C, which is the, the Euro FX contract. We just double click it. And of course, uh, we, we already know how to um, create a new chart. Now let's go back to, um, to the uh, hotkey manager and let's look at the actual hotkeys that we have on our charts. These are hotkeys, hotkeys that uh, are enabled on our charts. Let's see that uh, we have the the uh, line, which is the F2. Uh, let's see if we can actually uh, use one um, that uh, we use, well, a, a, um, a drawing tool that we use a lot. Okay, let's go with the line, which is the F2. And if we go to a chart, which uh, let's, uh, let's use the ES, um, chart for this example and we click uh, or we uh, click on F2 we have the drawing uh, tool that is prompted on us okay now uh, you already have this uh, this uh, hotkeys on your charts enabled but uh, if you want to disable a, a hotkey or if you want to uh, remove a, hot, a hotkey what you need to do is go to uh, uh, the hotkey that you want to remove and just uh, click on this button that says remove okay and then you click okay now you can see that the the f2 hotkey for the uh, line drawing tool is no longer available and if you click on okay and if we go to the chart again and we click on f2 the drawing tool will not be prompted to us so this is basically what um uh, the hotkey manager looks like and what and what you can do with it of course